Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Okay, we are moving forward with October round two. Sorry for the delay. Um, it was a rough weekend. It was a rough end of the week last week. It was a rough weekend. It's been a rough beginning to the week. It is now Wednesday. Um, <laughs> I'm not even going to keep going with that. Gemini, we're throwing them down for you for round two. So, if it resonates, cool. If not, check your moon rising your Venus sign reading. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little better, keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot table. Everyone's always welcome here at my table, and I appreciate y'all stopping by. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. It really is very much appreciated. If you're new and think we might vibe, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Super awesome of you. If you're returning, welcome back. I missed your face. Where the hell you been? Anybody can hit the like button at any time. That would be super cool. It all helps the channel. And it all helps this video get circulated to those who might need the message. A side note to that, this isn't necessarily a cross-watchers reading, but y'all can hang out if you want to. This is a reading where um, we go over you and what your strengths and weaknesses are and what your blockages are and what needs to leave your life, what's coming into your life what you gotta do, all that happy jazz. So, if a cross watcher, if a cross watcher can take something out of it, hey, that's awesome. Couple quick things before I invoke the cards and throw them down for you, Gemini. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I just don't recommend it. I don't care if it's my cards or somebody else's. And two, if it is not your reading, not your story, not your message, if it's not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form, and not making sense in your life, if it just don't fit, Leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's that easy. All right. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for new messages here for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming out and hanging out today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to do accurately and clearly bring Gemini to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path for what's left of October. Okay. <sighs> Gemini. The chariot. Card of Cancer. Some of you might have cancer in your charts. Things are moving, but some of you might be having trouble with the direction. This feels very crossroads. What's your strengths? Ace of Wands. Self-starters, go-getters. All right. What's your weakness? Emperor Reverse. Ah, some of you might be having control issues. Things may be, might be a little out of control in this juncture. Okay. Hmm. What do you want? The Knight of Cups. Do you want to be able to give someone a cup? Or do you want to be able to receive a cup? This feels like you flying in and giving somebody a cup. Giving somebody an offer of love. Alright, what's got to go? Justice. Mm. Why does justice and balance have to go? It could be some legal BS. I guess take it if it resonates with you, Gemini. Um, what's coming in? Eight of Wands, something very fast. Could be communication, could be movement. It's coming in like a tornado, though. It's coming in quick. What do you got to do? Ace of Cups. It's the new. I feel like it's the willingness to begin again.
You're all about new beginnings. If it's something you're passionate about. If it's something you want. But your weakness is control. Outcome. Double reverse, separating from some BS. Hmm. 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 <clears throat> hmm. Let's get clarity before we get your advice, friends. Talk about this Emperor reversed. Will of the Year and the Queen of Swords. Hmm. Why the Queen of Swords? Queen of Cups. Oh, okay. That's where you're being pulled in two different directions. You see that? What your heart wants and what your head's telling you. You're fighting for control. One more on this wheel of the year. That's a card of fate and destiny. That's a card of letting go of the wheel and throwing fate to the wind. And that's something you have a hard time with. The hermit. There's been some deep thought here. Spending a lot of time with yourself, hasn't there? Hmm. All right, one on this Ace of Wands for the strength. One on the Ace of Wands. Queen of Wands. Yeah. That's some fire. That's some passion. Let's know what you want going after it. Full real. You weren't so damn conflicted. That's the third queen, though. You weren't so damn conflicted. Ace of Cups. You know you can achieve this. Talk to me about this Knight of Cups. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. You want to be able to give this cup, but there's something you got to release. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Ace of Wands reversed.
It's not hopeless, Gemini. <clears throat> Three of Swords. You have to release the heartbreak to get the new start. You have to be willing to give and receive again. It's what you want to be able to do. You want the Ace of Cups. The weakness is letting go of the wheel and let it happen. Overthinking it. Too much head and heart over here. Too much head and heart. Possibly a little bit too much going inside. Trying to steer. You let destiny steer there. Your struggle is letting destiny steer. Why is justice here? Talk to me about justice. Talk to me about justice for Gemini, for what needs to go. Why does justice need to go? Why does justice need to go? <clears throat> justice. Wow. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. One more. One more. Death. Death. Five Pentacles. Five Pentacles reversed. Coming out of the cold with some in the living lay the playing field. Change could be a legal matter. Coming out of poverty. Let the long dark night end. reversed closing the gap closing distance you have to allow change to come some of you may need to come out of the cold with someone close a distance with someone close a gap with someone emotional physical or what have you One on this justice, please, universe. One on this justice, please. Five of swords, ace of pentacles, three of pentacles. Another ace, another ace. You have to be on the level with someone. You have to build the foundation. You have to allow yourself the new start. Why the Five of Swords? The Fives talk about change. Why the Five of Swords? Two of Wands. This was an event. This was an event. I think for some of you, you're okay. In the traditional Five of Swords, it's the battle on the beach. Somebody leaves with everything. Somebody leaves every hand, empty hand with their tail between their legs. I think you were the one that left empty hand with your tail between your legs. I think you were the one who was defeated. You have to come out of that energy. You have to move on from that.
justice can also speak of karmic justice. If you needed to receive karmic justice in a past connection, you may have well received it and you need to allow that cycle to end. You keep repeating the same cycle. Some of you. Because you keep walking into new cycles with the same energy. You cannot keep doing that. You have to let go of that wand and you have to move forward towards your future and not keep repeating the same cycle over and over again to build your foundation. It's got to go. What's coming in? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Seven of Swords. Why the Seven of Swords? The Magician. Okay, for me, the Seven of Swords, it's not necessarily, you know, what do we call him? Dishonest Dan or Dishonest Dave? It's not necessarily that. It, it's a card of, it's a card of return for me because someone's coming back for the rest of their swords. Someone's coming back for something they left behind. Intentions may not necessarily be pure, but it's the magician, and this is not screaming charming trickster to me. This is just coming back quickly and unexpectedly. Something, someone or something might be coming back into your life to manifest new, to use these aces to manifest something new. It may happen very quickly. It may be playing out right now very quickly. One more. Four of Wands, Two of Swords, High Priestess. Wow. Wow. Led and guided. Led and guided by the universe. Clarity's coming in. Decision will be made with clarity. It's going to be celebration. The Four of Wands, that, that's doors opening back up. That's 11-11. That's, that's stability. But you just got to make sure that if somebody's coming back, their intentions are pure. If you're going back to someone, your intentions are pure. And it's manifested some, into something positive, not something negative. All right, what you got to do? What do you got to do? Why is this Ace of Cups here? Why is this Ace of Cups here? Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Shadow side. And what did I say? Gemini, if you were the one being shady in the past, you got to cut that shit out and come back clean. You got to disconnect from the toxic stuff. It, toxic stuff. Okay. Here's the laundry list. Drug addictions, alcohol abuse, um, excessive gambling. You know, the things that you have a little bit too much fun doing to excess that can be harmful or toxic in a situation. Toxic people. Toxic places. You gotta cut that shit out. Toxic things. Toxic habits. Eight of cups, you gotta move on from it. You gotta cut it out and you gotta move on from it to get this new start. To get what you want. To get what your strengths enable you to be able to receive. To get what you want. You gotta, if you want the new, you got to be willing to take that mighty sword of justice and cut the bullshit out of your life. The outcome, devil reversed. The disconnect. Six of cups. King of pentacles. Abundance! the guy. Mm. This is who you want to be. He's grounded. He's stable. He's good. He can provide. Six of swords flew out. Flipped into the reverse. 
Some of you might be crossing back over choppy waters to somebody. It may have been waves that one or the both of you made, but there's the moon card. Some of you might not know what you're walking into, but things will be made clear. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. It's going to take some time. Let's get a little bit of advice for my friends here. Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Three of Swords, Nine of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. The King and the Queen. Match set. This could be greatly abundant. You gotta wait and let go of the wheel and try not to brush things. Don't lull over which direction to go in. Sometimes you gotta let things go slow and stagnate a little bit while you process a heartbreak. Abundance is coming. I really feel like with the Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, it's about the company that you keep. And that takes us back to the disconnecting from the toxic bullshit in your life, Gemini. Alright, I don't know who this is for. This feels very specific for some reason. But if it resonates with you, cool. If you can take something out of it, awesome. Alright. I'm going to cut out, though. Have a wonderful rest of your October. I know that you love. Be blessed. And I will catch you guys in your next reading.